by Catherine Aquavella. Well this off-season drags on, and we hopefully get closer to a Bryce Harper and or Manny Machado signing, we'll keep you updated on all the latest rumors and transactions. Here's everything you need to know from the second Sunday of January. After a face-to-face -face meeting in Las Vegas with Bryce Harper, his agent Scott Boris and his wife Kayla on Saturday, the Philadelphia Phillies have emerged as the clear-cut favorite to sign Harper, according to Bob Nightingale of USA Today. Nightingale reported that executives of the Nationals, who were hoping to bring Harper back to D.C. This winter, now consider that reunion at long shot the Phillies contingent for Saturday's meeting include owner John Middleton, general manager Matt Klentek and manager Gabe Kapler. Meeting reportedly lasted for five hours before the group flew back to Philadelphia. Jeff Saversky of 6ABC Philly spoke to both Middleton and Klentek after they landed back in the city of brotherly love. Middleton told Siversky that the meeting was really positive, and that they got to understand what Bryce would be like for the clubhouse and community, with Middleton having confirmed what baseball fans had long speculated. His team was ready to spend, and maybe even be a little bit stupid about it, the Phillies may be the best landing spot for Harper if he wants a record-setting contract. For a long time this offseason, the Yankees have been linked with frontline free agent infielder Manny Machado. However, they've recently added to the fold shortstop Troy Tulowitzki and second baseman DJ Lemieux. The infield mix already includes Glaber Torres and Miguel Andujar, and incumbent shortstop Didi Gregorius is slated to return from Tommy John surgery as early as June. Absent a notable trade, it's hard to find room for Machado. Speaking of which, here's this nugget from ESPN's Buster Olney, the Yankees' talks with Machado are either dormant or completely dead, and unless Machado accepts far less money from the Yankees than he might get elsewhere, Andujar will be back at third base. As Olney also writes, Andujar, who hit 27 home runs last season as a rookie, has been working hard to upgrade his fielding at third base. The Yankees in turn sound committed to him. That lack of desperation on the Yankees' part means they can set a price for Machado and, as Olney reports, engage him only if the market falls to that level, potentially, that's bad news for Machado and for Yankees rooters who've been daydreaming of him in pinstripes. Perhaps, though, it's good news for the White Sox, who may be the most serious Machado suitor left standing. The situation remains fluid, of course. The Washington Nationals officially announced the signing of free agent second baseman Brian Dozier on Sunday. The Nats agreed to terms on a one-year, $9 million contract with Dozier and then a corresponding roster move, designated infielder Matt Reynolds for assignment. Brian Dozier has passed his physical and is officially a member of the Washington Nationals. His deal is for one year and $9 million with no options, Jesse Doherty, at Doherty underscore Jesse, January 13, 2019, Washington Nationals, at Nationals, January 13, 2019 with Dozier as their second baseman, the Nationals addressed their biggest remaining roster question outside of Bryce Harper. Dozier, 31, split last season between the Twins and Dodgers, hitting .215.305.391, 88 ops with 21 home runs and 632 plate appearances. He hit 34 home runs in 2017 and 42 home runs in 2016. Dozier did not rank among our top 50 free agents. He joins Yan Gomes, Kurt Suzuki, Patrick Corbin, Anibal Sanchez, and Trevor Rosenthal as notable Nationals off-season additions. Reynolds, 28, spent little time in the big leagues last season, 14 plate appearances, and holds a .635 ops in 240 career major league plate appearances, but he played every position beside pitcher and catcher in the minors. At the AAA level, Reynolds hit a solid .265.355.424 in 355 plate appearances. Check out the 2019 Power Rankings to see where all the teams are ranked, including the World Series champion Red Sox.